there are different ways that this is done. So if you have if you have the Synaptive Image Guidance Platform, then the um, you have an attachment to the tube. Whereas if you're if you're using um, you know Stealth or Striker or whatever, then you see that there's a, a central hole. A, tube in the uh, obturator, so your image guidance probe goes inside of this, and then you're using that to drive your port. But here's what the port looks like. <clears throat> There's the obturator, and then you'll be operating down this tube. There are different lengths, as I said, um, up to 65 millimeters, and they're coming out with one even longer than that. But essentially, your pre-op planning, you're going to plan your your entry and your trajectory down to the lesion. And with that all, all pre-programmed in, then you're going to drive your tube. Now, the tube has to be secured, and so there's a little thing here called that uh, they call a shepherd's uh, hook, and that attaches. And so generally, what I do is I like to have this uh, all hooked up to my retractor arm uh, when I'm starting out. And that way, once I am in the right spot, then I just set the tube there uh, and fix it in place. It's, it, uh, it can be a little bit loose, because as I mentioned earlier, you, you're going to want to be able to toggle the tube, especially if you're, if you're doing a large uh, lesion. So we have our pre-planned trajectory. I have everything all set up, ready to go. And so I'm going to get to where my uh, entry point is. And green is going to mean go. And the, the thing about this uh, system is that I'm trying to get it lined up here. Seems like I should. Uh, this isn't my. Uh, it's not my system, so <laughs> it's a little bit of a challenge. It's mostly the gel model. It's what? The gel model is coming. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll just pass. Yeah. So then, once I'm, in, I mean, I can feel it there. So once I'm in. So your retractor arm and your OR is going to be much steadier, I guarantee you. All right, so out it comes. And then... Uh, yeah, so uh, there's a foot pedal, Dr. Uh, just hit your foot pedal. One second, Dr. Now try one more time. That should look right down the port. So this is going to go coaxial with the port. And then as I said, I like to use the, the Myriad in my left hand. And you give it a little slight bend. Oh, it's well, it's okay. Well, so, as I said, the pressure is attenuable, so you can get this set up. And it'll, you can see a readout with the different numbers. So, this is suction only, so you can go up as uh, where, however high you want to go. And then. I know you guys got something like a a bayonet or something. Something I can play with like it's a bipolar. Yeah. 
Well, that's all right. So at any rate, we're we're going to work down um, down the tube. All right. So we have our suction only, and then we kick over to the resection. Then you can see that we can resect tumor. Like I showed you in the video, then you know I have a bipolar in my other hand, and so I can. Here's a bipolar. Uh -huh. So the other thing is that one thing that is that I'm not I'm not lined up like I would normally be. There we go. Yeah. So one thing about it is, I, you know, you, you can't see me in the lab here, I know, but I, I would normally be sitting on the other side here because you, you want to have, you've just got to have your body kind of aimed. All right, so at any rate, down the tube then, you know, I can, be, I can bipolar and suction and resect and work all at the same time to do this. So this is just, you know, gelatin mold, just so you get the idea. And this will, the, the Myriad, you can, you know, you can spin it around too, so the, you can, there's a, a finger switch up here so that you can basically roll this around um, and have your, have it going in the direction that you'd like. So, you can move it. But this is basically the, the idea. So then, once uh, once it's out and you have your hemostasis and so forth, then you just simply slide it out, and the tissue will just close right behind it, and you'll end up having that nice, you know, surface intact and not have uh, the big opening like you would if you're opening up a gyrus. Do you always sit down for these? I, oh yeah always, you, you have to sit. So I sit down anyway for everything other than spine, but, but it, yeah, you have to because you gotta, you gotta be nimble with your feet. Mm -hmm.